Good day everyone, I'm Shaira Marisa Bulo from BSBA Marketing Group. The history of softball or baseball. Baseball is a sport that has been enjoyed by millions of people around the world for over a century. Its exact origins are deb debated and disputed but it is generally believed to have evolved from earlier. Bat and ball. Games played in England and North America in 18th and 19th centuries. Um, the first recorded game of baseball was played in the United States in 1846 in Hoboken, New Jersey. The game was originated by Alexander Cartwright, who is of the who is often credited with creating the modern modern rules of baseball. These rules included the use of diamond shaped field, nine players on each team, and the use of hard ball. In the years that followed, baseball grew in popularity, and the first professional baseball league, the National Association of Professional Baseball Players, was formed in 1871. However, the league did not last long, and in 1876, the National League was formed, which is still existence today. So here the equipment used in baseball. First is baseball, a round and white ball with red snitching. Second, back, a wooden or metal stick used to hit the ball. Third, glove, a leather glove worn by fielders to catch the ball. Next is helmet, a protective head headgear worn by batters and runners. Next, catcher's gear, a set of protective equipment worn by the catcher which includes a helmet, chest protector, and shin guards. Next is protective cup, a hard shell worn by male players to protect the groin area. Cleats, shoes with spikes on the sole for better tra traction on the field. Next is batting gloves. Gloves worn by batters to improve grip on the bat and protect their hands. Next, baseball cup. A soft cup worn by players to shield their eyes from the sun and identify their team. And last, protective screens. Large screens placed on the field to protect pitchers and coaches from line drives. These are the main pieces of equipment used in baseball. There may be additional equipment used by individual players such as elbow or knee pads, but they are not mandatory. Next is the playing field of baseball. The playing field of baseball is typically a large grassy diamond shaped area. Um, the field is divided into two main parts, the infield and the outfield. The infield is where most of the action takes place. It includes the four bases, first base, second base, third base, and home plate. And the pitcher's moon. The bases are arranged in a square shape with... Um, home plate at the bottom and the other bases at the corners. The pitcher's mound is the is in the center of the infield and elevated to give the pitcher an advantage. Um, the outfield is the area beyond the infield. It is marked by a fence or wall, which varies in height depending on the stadium. Outfielders play in the outfield and are responsible for catching fly balls, hit by the batter. Um, the distance between the bases varies 
depending on the level of play. In Major League Baseball, the distance, distance between the bases is 90 feet, while in Little League Baseball, the distance, distance is 60 feet. In addition um, to the infield and outfield, there are also foul lines that extend from home plate to the outfield fence. Any ball hit outside of the foul lines is considered a foul ball, foul ball, ball and is not in play. So, overall, the playing field of baseball is designed to create a unique and challenging environment for players to compete in.